Good afternoon friends. Uh, magandang hapon sa inyo mga kaibigan ko. Nembaga malibi yung aming gagayin ko. Uh, yeah. Last time, I said that one of the best way and fastest way to find a strong source of water is find a big buntong or earth uh, or termite mound. Uh, last time, I I use this uh, white weed to find uh, to find a strong source of water, and I use this uh, L rod, this L rod, okay, and also I use this uh, I use this I use this pendulum to confirm the findings of the L rod, the findings of the Y the uh, white stick, and even. This sap, even this supple aqua stick. Uh, these three tools uh, have found there's a strong source of water, but this uh, has this had to be confirmed by uh, this uh, supple aqua pendulum. This one, this one for liter of uh, this uh, water pendulum. Now, uh, I would like I, I I would like to be. I'd like to introduce to you uh, another way of uh, confirming uh, the findings of a strong source of water. This coconut pendulum. Okay? Cut. That the uh, sure, uh, sure uh, side of the strongest water source beside the, the uh, moon zone here on the north side okay so that would be very easy uh, the question is what if you you are trying to find a strong source of water and there is no moon tone or uh, or uh, termite mound how, 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 how can you find that strong source of water the more accurate way and faster way of doing it that's where what we're going to do we're going to the rush we're going to the rice field to find strong source of water without buntong okay like what I said before we're not in the rice field uh, recently all the pala here have been har harvested already so you can see the uh, the uh, land here, the rice land here, is full of potholes, so uh, uneven, such that uh, it's very hard to walk. The question now is, there is no buntun here, for instance. There is no earth mound. So how can you how can you still find uh, how can you can you still find the strongest water source without the buntun? And what's the fastest way to do it? I would say that the fastest way to find uh, the fastest way, fastest way to find a strong source of water is through the use of the supple aqua stick. Okay, so I am going to make a triangulation, uh, triangulation to find the uh, imaginary intersection wherein that is the strongest source of of uh, water okay so this is what i'm going to do you know this this one if there's uh, water when it has found a strong water signal the behavior of this is it moves i, I will lock it this way it will uh, push backward towards my body as if it's pulling something else okay so let's go now see that it's pulling Okay. Okay. So uh, in this direction, there is the unseen strong water signal, and that's what we are going to find out the imaginary intersection. So I would ask somebody to stand here, so uh, as a marker. Sir, will you please come here? Stand here. Just stand here, okay? Straight, straight. Uh, just, just stand, stand, just stand, okay? Mm -hmm. So 
to stand here so I'll make a triangulation to find where, where is that source okay now I'm going to change direction so uh, so that I can find I can make triangulation to find that unseen intersection okay Okay. Okay. I'll try to find here. Okay. So that is the. Uh, that is the imaginary intersection cut. So I'll be placing here this small boy as a marker so I can find the center. Okay, I'm going to find out the center of the uh, imaginary intersection. Okay. Okay, okay. So, you have noticed here that the movement of this sapol uh, aqua stick is it goes backward. Now, this is now the point. Okay, this is now the imaginary intersection of this of this strong source of water, this one and this one. So, in this uh, in this. Uh, in this section, here, 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 that is the strong source of water. Now, how do we know that it is a strong source of water? You need now the, uh, we need now this water pendulum to to verify the the uh, the, the, the strength, and this can be verified uh, by means of the diameter. The longer the diameter is. Uh, for example, if the diameter is something like this, there is water, but it's not yet strong, relatively weak. If you have this, it's already strong, but it is not that it's the strongest water source that we would like. What we are looking for is something like that, just like the propeller of a helicopter in motion, okay? And this uh, pendulum, water pendulum, will be used to verify this, okay? Another one. I'll be introducing this uh, coconut to verify also the strength of the uh, the water find. Okay, if it is strong or not. The question now is: Is the uh, behavior of this the same? This water, uh, no, this coconut, this coconut pendulum, the same as this water, this water pendulum? Are they, do they have the same findings? Okay, let's find find out. Okay. So, I'll begin with this. Okay. Okay. Let's see now the the rotary movement, the circular movement. You notice this is now moving uh, circular motion. It's getting stronger and stronger, and that's it. So this one, it means that it is about uh, about.
about uh, almost uh, two meters. So that means this is strong, strong source of water. Okay. Now, for the first time, I am introducing another kind of uh, pendulum. It is now what I call the coconut pendulum, fresh coconut pendulum. I am going to find out whether its behavior, the way it swings itself toward the uh, toward the uh, imaginary intersection, and then it is swing. Is it the same as that one? If it's the same, then therefore this uh, uh, coconut pendulum is as good as this water pendulum. Okay, let's find out. So you notice. The behavior of this one is it's swinging towards the imaginary intersection. Now I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make uh, triangulation. Okay. See, it's going there. Okay. Again, I'll be making another one here. So what do you notice? It keeps on swinging toward that. Okay. Now I'm going to find out what is the diameter. It's defining of the uh, water uh, water pendulum the same as this let's find out it's moving in a rotary motion just like the just like the water uh, the uh, water pendulum okay so it is also um, swirling just like the propeller by helicopter in, in flight the same as the the uh, the uh, water pendulum so therefore okay this uh, uh, coconut pendulum is as good as the uh, the water pendulum so therefore you can use uh, you can use this water pendulum and this coconut pendulum to verify the findings of this the findings of the stick and to determine the strength of the uh, water find and the conclusion is there is a strong water source here be, uh, there's a strong water signal and this is a strong water uh, wa uh, underground water signal here and it is here here this is here that you are going to make drilling and shear and up to a certain depth where once the water comes out you have to put here the water pipes and eventually you're going to put the shallow well or deep well and you can be sure that definitely you're going to have a strong water source that you will need especially during uh, the dry season especially during summer time when uh, water becomes scarce but here this one will, uh, the, the strength of the water find here will manifest itself in that there will always be water even during summer time. Enough to uh, water this, this uh, rice field, this palai. Okay? Thank you for watching, friends. Uh, and uh, hello, friends. Gagaye mga kakaibigan. Kung hindi po kayo nakaka subscribe uh, please like subscribe and share it to your friends thank you so much uh, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you bye bye until next time